you would ask me in December when I would have passed plumbing and electric, <laughs> I would have told Brian that, that Brian would have told you at the end of January. <laughs> The last time we put out a video, we were reeling from the results of our first rough-in inspections for plumbing and electric. Despite having spent months on it, reading the code, learning to make sure everything was up to snuff, we unfortunately were not able to pass. But it could not pass us. Now we're doing the work that it'll take to get the inspectors out a second time and get that gold star and the go-ahead to close this bishop. I told Chelsea, I was like, it's gonna leak here. We're here, if it leaks at all. And we pressure test with air, and it was like this close to five PSI, and I was like, well, let me turn this off, maybe I can hear something. And lo and behold, up there and down there is leaking. So um, basically, you know, we're just gonna replace the parts. So if it's 60 degrees, and it's like two hours before you test for the instructions, but it is not 60 degrees. So we're gonna let that, we might have to let that sit for a day, or at least until tomorrow. So anyways, we'll pressurize it, then call for inspection hopefully Thursday. Today's Tuesday. We were hoping to call for inspection yesterday for today, but here we are. It's all good though. It's all good. All right, let's take a look at what I got here. Basically, I got two, eh, three things basically going on. One, we have our air compressor, just a small one pancake one, I don't know what they call it, but then we have it hooked up over here through this toilet. Um, you can pretty much, we could just do it the same. This gauge is, uh, it's in 10, so whatever. We're only trying to go to five PSI, so it's only like a little notch. Then I have another gauge here. This is the shower. And that's the gauge I'll be watching. I would connect directly into this, but I can't find the my um, attachment for the air compressor. And then I was worried about, you know, using the air compressor for this. It's it's just so much air in there, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it goes up so slowly, one PSI. And then like minutes later, two. You know, you don't get to five for a while, so it's no big deal. There's Chelsea. Feels like forever since I've talked to the camera. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna turn this on. So excited. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently it took so long last time. It's ready to leak. <laughs> We're a like, it faster. takes forever to fill up. No, it actually doesn't when you don't have yeah, huge leaks. I was like leaks. walking around looking for the cable to charge the thing. Well, I'm glad I was looking at it because yeah, uh, I wasn't. That would have been really bad. Thank God. God. Thank goodness. All right, so it's at five and a half. So I'm only supposed to go to five. Um, part of me wants to take some out, but you know, in the Air Force, I'm, I've messed with like, I don't know, hundreds of PSI with tires and stuff. I mean, I think the tires were, I don't even remember, 150 tops. And some other stuff where, you know, oxygen was like 400. This is five. And this is like five. And then like, I just like, like kind of laughed at it at first, but whenever the ball would slip out. <laughs> it like exploded. Yeah, it would shoot out and lodge itself. And I'm like, I didn't really, I mean, I guess it makes sense. Five, five pounds per square inch. And the thing is like, you know, I don't know, nine-ish square inches, so. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. I never really thought about this. <laughs> yeah. Or when it comes out, it's just like, and all this, like, the, the water turns into gas real fast and it's like misting out of the thing. Sounds a lot better than the last time we did this where we just heard air leaks everywhere. Yeah. I mean, you could see, you visually see the gauge go down. Yep. All right, so it was leaking right here before, which was not a surprise. Where is it? I took it out anyway. It's upstairs, I think. So we went ahead and replaced the whole, the whole fitting. Um, 
mainly because we reused the fitting <laughs> before and it was the leak. So we were like, we could put, I think some, some people have said online, just like put epoxy or just replace, uh, there's a couple of things. It's really quiet down here. Very quiet, I don't hear any leaks. Uh, yes, two days ago, whenever we did it. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, so as long as that PSI, we really don't need to check for leaks unless you have to see that PSI get lower for 15 minutes, I believe it's 15 minutes. Um, I never depressurized the the water lines. Have they been that whole time? Yeah, but you think about it. Oh, they normally are. They're right? normally I have pressure on them all the time. Mm. You know. So now we wait, now we just wait. to make sure. Yeah, just make sure, and then I will hit him up and call him back. No. Yes. It's still there. We did a thing. No plate protectors on. The plumbing is good. That's all we had to do, right? For plumbing? We just had to test it. Yeah, the no, no plates. Nail plates are for electric, right? Plumbing. Oh, they're for plumbing. For uh, plumbing and electric. Oh, but okay. all these new ones are for plumbing because we added that. Oh, okay. Is it Time to call the inspectors. Tomorrow's a big day, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully they come out. Yeah. Another exciting development today is that about half of our cabinets are being delivered for our kitchen. Are we ready to install said cabinets? No. But that's okay, because we're gonna have them. Oh, that's fine, because we need, you, what you do is you have it open and have it acclimate to the environment. That's before true. Before you install it, so we're gonna do that anyways. Yeah. So we're gonna go pick it up because probably normally could have, you know, we have trucks deliver stuff to our property, but uh, with the mud, on our driveway we have these huge ruts and it's like there's not really a good place for trucks to turn around right now so we're actually going to go meet them <laughs> elsewhere and save them from trying to figure out where to turn around so it's very exciting though and the dogs get to go for a ride <laughs> they're like you have to take me with you gonna <laughs> jesse they're so silly so let's go meet these delivery peoples. Weather is, I can't even say unseasonably because it's our first season here, but I'm gonna say exceptionally warm. Uh, it should be in the 50s today. Really, the only reason I've got this jacket on is because the breeze is a little chilly, but the snow has melted and a couple of the trees that I ordered have actually already arrived. They arrived a couple days ago. The soil is really loose. <laughs> Everything has melted. I think it's a good time to get them in the ground. There's a chance we'll get another snowstorm coming up. That's okay. The trees will stay dormant until probably like May or June. So let's go plant those. So I'm on my way to the orchard and I hear a babbling brook. We do not live near a source of water, friends. So that would be really awesome. I'm gonna show you so one of the uh, permaculture installments I did last year, you can check out that video and see it in action because I didn't really get good footage of it last year, but I'm gonna show you, okay? So one reason why we planted the orchard so far from our home site is because this arroyo alongside the road drains all this snow. And we have this fence here to keep our dogs in, but all the water drains, especially during monsoons in the summer. This is just snow melt right now. This is just snow melt. And it's draining all the way into the retention pond. So 
So this retention pond has been collecting water and snow all winter and just collecting it, letting it slow seep into the ground. And it's kind of, it's not really in the center, but it's in a good spot of all the trees. I'm gonna kneel down here so you can see. This is just water that can now slow, move into the ground up here and be used, you know, for the orchard, which is really cool. This is wild. This was actually uh, totally melted this morning. It looked like an ice rink, but we're getting a lot of water in there. So yay, the things that work. All right, let's go open up this orchard box. These trees are from Trees of Antiquity, by the way. They specialize in heirloom varieties. And I'm almost positive they're all like organic, you know. Okay, it looks like we have two, no, sorry, three trees here. Three trees, we've got a Macintosh apple, which is a variety we don't have currently planted, and two Kansas sweet cherries. The cherries all did really well, the ones I planted last year, so I remember that's why I went with it. I think these are replacing a pear and two plums, maybe? Don't quote me on that, I'll put it on the screen above if I get a chance to look and repair. But let's go get these planted. Shouldn't be too hard. The soil is already, you know, loose, ready to go. And we've got this nice babbling brook water source, albeit temporarily. So I might use some of that water to actually put around the roots. I believe this was actually a spot for one of the shrubs that I planted last year, but it didn't take, I think it was a currant or a gooseberry, not sure which. We're gonna plant a tree there now. It's a good spot and uh, yeah. Pack this down a little, little bit just because these berms are so loose. Okay, so those last two trees were the Kansas sweet cherries. They're a variety I did not order and plant in the orchard last year. So that'll be new and exciting to see. The I did a mix of where I got trees last year. So some I ordered from Trees of Antiquity. I believe they're Washington based. So they got shipped in. And then a couple of the, especially tall ones that are in front of me, I actually bought from the nursery in town. So those ones did really well, especially once I started giving them as much water as they wanted. Unfortunately, a lot of the damage to the other trees was because of the cows that would eat them before we had our fence installed. So fences installed, cows can't damage them. I think we will have a lot better luck this year. So originally, if you would have asked me in December when I would have passed plumbing and electric, <laughs> I would have told Brian, that, that Brian would have told you at the end of January. <laughs> <laughs> We're so naive. <laughs> yeah. You don't know what you don't know. Yeah. Hmm. Granted, we did do a lot in between plumbing and electric, insulating the, the house, uh, crawl space, crawl space uh, picking up stuff. <laughs> the weather's been, we've been fighting the weather. We read it, a couple of stuff on the, the roof. Yep. With that being said, all of that. All of that yesterday, as of yesterday, April 4th. Fourth. 2024, yes. lots of fours. We have got the green, light, the gold star. Gold star? <laughs> I don't know what star color stars people hand green out star. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw green <laughs> and said it. Anyways, we have we have passed both electrical and plumbing and we are good to go to move on. So, yes. There are a couple of things that we still need to do, as you can see. House is not done. <laughs> it's unfortunate, but the but, house is not done. Yeah. The inspector said, you know, sometimes they deal with owner builders and it's like five to 10 times they have to come out and make sure like it's actually going to pass. Then he's like, I think it's time that you hired a plumber. <laughs> a professional. Professional. So we didn't have to do that. No. Yeah. Cool. And, and they commended us on our work. They said, this is really good. Obviously you made a couple of mistakes, but the work that you did do is awesome. And when you fix it, I'm sure it'll be good. And we did and he was like, yeah, it's good. 
all the weight of what's left. <laughs> so, so we can just live in the house. It's just like, boom. It's like, oh, electrical plumbing's done, hooray. And then like five minutes later, it's like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Like what's left and it's everything else. This next stuff that we have in some shape or form, Chelsea have done and I have done almost everything. We haven't done a, like a shower or a bathroom full install, but we've That's done true. some tile work a little bit, <laughs> you know. Whenever we were, we were getting our bathroom installed from our last house, I watched the guy, I watched them do a lot of stuff, you know, and one of the last things I saw them do was install the toilet. And I'm like, yeah, I could do that. <laughs> it's not as complicating as I thought it was. Cut to. Cut to, here we are. <laughs> This has gone too far. Building a house. Yeah, I was I like, I could do that. <laughs> I could do it. And 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 sometimes that's all it takes. I could do it. And then there's a lot of, a lot of hard, harder parts. To that. <laughs> a lot of learning yeah. curves. A lot of uh, learning aches and stuff. But um, you know, here we are. So I took some pride in it. And um, you yeah, it's on to the final phase. <laughs> Final phase is like it's like everything. months. <laughs> <laughs> it's everything. Don't yeah. don't care yourself. You want to come help? You're welcome to come out here and help us. We'll knock it out in like two three weeks. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm not as strong as I like to give myself sometimes to throw this stuff up. Yeah. Why do we make this damn wall so high? You wanted it to be taller. It was originally. supposed to be two feet taller. If you're enjoying watching us build our house, consider supporting us. By liking and subscribing, you're helping the YouTube algorithm show our videos to other people who will enjoy them. And we appreciate that. To support us further, become a Patreon or YouTube member. Click the link in the description box below. Paid members get early access to our weekly newsletter and other special goodies. As always, thank you to everyone who supported us so far. It means the world to us as we move on to the final phase of the build. But I don't know. Wires are so, like, it's pretty straightforward. It's like connect point A to point B. And then if you don't know how to connect it, then you learn sure. how to connect that part. <laughs> no, but seriously, like, 